We're here with ticket 6554. It's a P. Moria. It is pretty disgusting condition, actually. It's got green verdigris and rust um, and mold. And uh, anyway, you know, obviously it's being played a lot. And uh, uh, we're going to uh, check it out with the leak light and uh, see what the uh, leak light reveals on this video assessment clip. Um, here we go, let's plug the leak light in. I'm trying to do things with two hands. Pretty hopeless with this. But anyway, here we go. We've taken the palm keys off, as you can see, we've taken the front F so that we can just get a good view. We're just gonna go lightly and see which one hits first. Obviously, they've touched there. We've got some regulation and most probably some seating. Um, we'll just pull this out again. We'll just have a look at the condition of the pads. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We're not gonna do it this time because I think um, the owner wants this back real quick. Actually, it's good. There's no mold on the pads. That's cool. I really like that. So the pads are looking good. I like that. Uh, just green, green stuff everywhere. Maybe that's cool and jazz. I'm not sure. It seems to be the hip cool thing to have this green stuff over the horn. Uh, a lot of horns and rust. Yeah. Uh, pads are good. Let's have a check of the old regulation. As we just looked at the B, it's most likely, what do we say? I reckon that's hitting hard at the back of that B because that speaker is, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. We like the speaker. So it's hitting hard at the back of this B. Um, that needs to be floated across. I would say the A there is hitting hard the back also, and that will regulate the beers and also will regulate this speaker. Our G is um, is um, is average to say the least. Uh, we will that key is uh, not aligned, so we'll get that key cup aligned. And if we need to float that pad, we'll float the pad across. Um, let's just go and have a look at these guys over here. Hopefully this right stack is giving some joy. Let's have a look at the right stack. We've got some joylessness from the right stack, huh? Just a little bit of regulation and hitting hard at the back issues with that F. Oversprung, really massive spring. G sharp, I'd say, is hitting down first, which is okay, um, but we might just change that regulation there. Um, we've got this E problem here. It's not regulating us. It feels like it's hitting hard at the back when I'm that's touching right now. Bang, bang, yeah. So we'll just uh, have a look at this. We like this, we like this guy. It's not too bad that um, there's a little bit of uh, unevenness there. Yeah, so we can we can deal with that one, the D. Uh, our C doesn't look too bad from that view. Let's have a look at the C from this view. It's hard to use the touch piece and balance the horn here in this position. Let's change it up. Let's just change it up a bit. Let's get this going on. We'll get this guy down here. Here we go. This is the bad guy we want. Take this out of here. Put this guy in here. This is pro videos from Solo Music here. Pro videos. All right, let's have a look at this. Now the C, as we can see, no pun intended, we can see it's a little tragic, the C. It's hitting over on that, um, about 11 o'clock on the old 
clock face if we're above the key and the rib of the key is 12 o'clock well the clock face 11 is hitting all this uh, nine eight seven six five four three two is gaping open the bell keys is the bell aligned no we've got some serious rubbish going on with the bell so we're gonna to have to align this bell get this bell back in its right position and uh, that will help the b and the b flat actually seat and then we're going to regulate that so we've got um uh yeah i would say uh Mm, I'm not going to do any of this green clean stuff. We don't need to uh, do that. We're just going to seat and regulate. We're going to just cap this at two hours. And um, yeah, we'll get that happening.